Let's see. You're probably familiar with Corey Wong, a talented artist with Grammy nominations under his belt who's wowed the music world with his knack for creating catchy tunes in a variety of styles. From funk to jazz and rock and basically everything else, Corey's amazing talent and creativity has won him a devoted fan base. But what's been the key to his legendary sound? Well, for years it's been the Wampler Ego Compressor. Corey's unmistakable sound has always relied on that one key ingredient, kind of giving his tone just the perfect amount of Oomph. So when he came to us with some ideas for his dream pedal, including a few tweaks and some innovative circuitry, it was a no-brainer to use that as our inspiration for crafting his one-of-a-kind signature pedal. Now, I'm biased, of course, but I really do think you're going to love the unique sound and feel that this pedal brings to the table. And just in case you aren't familiar with Corey, here's just a little bit about him. So Corey's a versatile and talented guitarist. Uh, many know him for his work with the funk band Wolfpack. His unique playing style, characterized by his tight rhythm and precision, has earned him a dedicated following among music lovers and musicians around the world. Another reason for his popularity is his infectious energy on stage. Corey's lively performances and his charismatic presence create like this irresistible atmosphere that just draws audiences in, making them feel like they're part of the music. Just, just one huge family. But let's take a closer look at this Corey Wong signature pedal, though. Corey had a clear idea of what he wanted to pedal. Like he wanted an XLR output to easily connect to a computer interface, a mixer or a PA system, or you know something like that for those signature crispy clear tones. He also wanted a boost feature that let him pick between a flat volume or a fuller, slightly more saturated boost that nudges the mid-range just a little bit. Plus he wanted an all in a compact pedal with two foot switches and an always on mode for hassle-free stage use. The Wampler Corey Wong compressor brings all of this to the table while keeping up with the top-notch build quality that we're known for. Let's check it out. If you've seen my videos, you know I do not play like Corey Wong, but I'm gonna do my best here. So my clean tone. <laughs> Now with any sort of compressor with a clean blend, what I usually do is I find my compressed sound first. So I kind of already have it set here. I got my attack down, I have my tone control about noon, sustain control up, uh, volume set to what is about unity-ish or so. And I'm just gonna do the compression circuit first, start, starting with the blend all the way up. So obviously that's pretty compressed, right? So let's start the opposite. Let's go all the way clean. And then let's roll that clean blend until we get big and full, but still nice dynamic. That's where I'm digging it. All right, add a little bit more compression here. Okay, now I'm gonna go full compression, a little bit longer attack. Since I have some clean blend in there, it's not super splatty. You can get that, that. It can do that, but we don't want that right now. All 
All right, so that's the compression circuit. Now, like I said, it has this side switch here. Turn that side switch on. Doesn't do anything. So if you accidentally hit the boost, compressor is still going to stay on no matter what until you just press it again. So let's talk about this boost a little bit. Over here, that's our full frequency. Now, I'm not going to go super loud here because I don't want to clip the amp just yet. Not that much. I'm just barely pushing a little bit. <laughs> Now, same thing with a little bit more mids. Again, this 550 hertz or so. It's not a huge mid hump, so it's not going to sound nasally, but it's just enough to kind of add some beef to the tone. Now let's combine that. This boost circuit comes after the compressor. So basically what it's going to do is going to take that compressed circuit and it's going to make it louder. That's basically what we have going on here. All right, so I have a different guitar. Obviously, this is my Whitfield Telecaster because I'm going to do something that Corey would never do, but I love this. So I have my Bravado amp. It's pretty cranked right now. Let's hit it with the boost. <laughs> That's just mostly for me. I just love that. And another thing that Corey likes to do with this pedal is use the XLR output, go direct in for that nice and crispy tone. And let's give that just a quick try. As you can see, I have the XLR plugged into it right here. Let's go direct. And there you go. This Wampler Cory Wong compressor comes with two soft clicking foot switches that manage each function of the pedal and a three color LED that shows you which mode is active. And on the compressor side, you have full control over the volume, sustain, tack, blend, along with the special tone control that you can tweak to add some extra sparkle and chime to the compression circuit. And for the boost side, there's a single knob to set the amount of boost that you want and a little mini toggle to choose between like that flat boost or that fuller, slightly saturated boost. It has a little extra punch around the 550 hertz range just to add a little extra harmonic goodness. And you can combine both channels and you've got a great compression and a powerful lead boost. Also, Corey wanted to make sure that if he hit the boost switch, there wasn't a chance that he would accidentally turn off that compressor circuit. So the side switch will simply lock the compressor in always on mode. Simply depress it again, it will change to normal use with the foot stomp switch. I hope you like this Corey Wong compressor as much as Corey and I do. Corey played a very active role in this pedal's development, working very closely with us to make sure it was exactly what he wanted and capturing the essence of his signature sound. So check it out at your favorite, favorite retailers that carry our pedals, our Reverb.com store, or our website at WamplerPedals.com. I'll also put all the links and the information in the video description. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.